I'm Selena from Black Turtle Coffee, and today we'll be making a blackberry lavender latte. So today we're going to be making a blackberry lavender latte. So we're going to start out with our espresso. Um, we'll take out any leftovers into our knock box, the towel to clean up the rest. We're gonna be uh, grinding some espresso beans at 2.75, um, which is a little bit on the finer side, but depending on your machinery, that number may change. Okay, perfect. Once you have a little bit of a mound, you'll brush off the excess. You'll place around the edge of the table, take your tamper, tamp down with a level hand, and give little bit of a twist. Brush off the excess into our knock box and put that in our espresso machine. We're just gonna be making a single today. There you go, beautiful. A lot of other places roast their coffee six months, a year in advance before putting it through their espresso machine and you can really see the difference and the, and the quality of the bean purely just based on that crema. Look at that, that is beautiful. All right, we're gonna take our milk pitcher, put in some whole milk or any milk of your choice up to the bottom of the spout. All right, and then we'll take one and a half pumps of blackberry. And then, where's that? Lavender, right in the store, perfect. One and a half pumps of lavender. All right, and since this is a latte, a little bit of foam, mostly steamed milk. Have a nice vortex going in there. Once it's too hot to the touch, you'll turn it off. Clear it out and wipe it down. We'll take our glass mug and pour in our single shot of espresso, just like that. Again, just make sure you get any of those bubbles out you can test the amount of foam by giving it a nice swirl. And here we go. Beautiful blackberry lavender, perfect for spring. Cheers.